Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about why the identity of a binary operation, if it exists, is unique. Now, already we've got a couple of pieces of terminology. We've got the word binary operation and identity. So before we move towards the actual result and its proof, let's define what these terms mean. First of all, a binary operation is a function on a set S that goes from S cross X, that's a Cartesian product, back into S. Now this might seem a little abstract or cryptic but we see these all the time. For example, addition or multiplication on the real numbers. These are binary operations. Now we don't usually think of them as functions. That's because we use something called infix notation. And we'll be using this notation instead of the usual prefix function notation. So f of x comma y, we're just going to write it as x function y. Okay, so that takes care of what a binary operation is and how we'll be denoting it. Next, let's talk, let's talk about what an identity is. So definition E is an identity for the function O from S cross X to S if for all A in S E working with A is equal to A working with E and it gives you back A. So basically E has no effect if you put it into the binary operation with any element A. You'll always get back that element A. Again this might seem a little bit abstract so let's look at an example. One is that zero is an identity of addition. Another one is that one is an identity of multiplication. That's because zero plus a is equal to a plus zero was, is equal to a for any real number a and 1 times a is equal to a times 1 is equal to a for any real number a. Now a natural question comes up which is whether a binary operation can have more than one identity and the answer is no the identity is unique so let's prove that that's the point of the video today If the binary operation O from S cross X to S is, I should say, um, has an identity, let's call it E, then E is unique. Now how are we going to prove this? Well we're going to start by saying that suppose E1 and E2 are both identities of O. Okay, And our goal is to show that E1 equals to E2 and we're going to use the properties of identities to do that. What we're going to do first is compose E1 with 
E2. And because E1 is an identity, we get that this is equal to E2. And secondly, we'll do the same thing, but we'll use a different property. So because E2 is an identity, we get that E1 composed with E2 is equal to E1. So what this means is that if we take E1 composed with E2, it's equal to E2, but it's also equal to E1, and that means E1 equals to E2. This proves that the identity must be unique. So if, if we just happen to have two identities, they're the same element of S. Let's do a quick recap. We defined what a binary operation is. We gave the examples of addition and multiplication. We made note of infix notation. We defined what an identity on a binary operation is. And we gave the example of 0 in the case of addition and 1 in the case of multiplication. And then finally, we got to our theorem which is that identities are unique and we prove this by considering this expression and evaluating it in one way and another way and this showed that if there are two identities they are the same element of S. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.